Hey guys, so in today's video I wanted to share with you my empties. Um, I have done a few of these videos on my channel before. Hello Ranger. You gonna help? You gonna help me? <laughs> you gonna help me talk about my empties? So if you've never seen the empties, empties video before, uh, I basically just talk about things that I have Ranger hair on. My face. Anyway, if you've never seen an empties video before, it's where I just talk about all of the garbage that I've accumulated over the past few months. Um, it's been a while since I've done an empties video, so I think I have quite a bit to talk about. Um, it's just any sort of kind of like beauty product that I've used up. I save, I save it in this uh, big bag right here, and I'm gonna go through it and talk about it about each thing, whether I liked it, whether I didn't like it, whether I'm going to repurchase it, etc. Um, first off, I'm sure this is incredibly distracting. I apologize. Um, this is Charlotte's swing and she's in it. You can, let me just tilt you so you can see. Yep, she's, she's in there and she's asleep right now. So um, we're going to roll with it because mom life and I do what I have to do. So first off, I have some face wipes to talk about. Um, let's see. First off, I have the Clinique Take Off the Day Micellar Cleansing Towelettes. I mentioned these in a Faves and Flops before, and it was my, like, unfavorite of the month. I have to admit, once I got down to the, um, the end of the pack, I liked them a lot more. Um... The, the reason I didn't like these is because I thought that the towelettes were too dry for any sort of like makeup removing. I thought that they were really ineffective because the towelettes weren't soaked enough with the makeup remover. So I thought they were kind of pointless. Um, but once I got down to like the end of the pack, uh, in here came with 50. Once I got down to probably the last like 15, uh, they were way more soaked. So bear that in mind if you are interested in buying these that they aren't fully saturated from top to bottom. It's just <laughs> Excuse you. Okay, anyway, so just uh, bear that in mind when purchasing these that they're not equal, like product isn't equally distributed amongst this pack uh, and that the top half is going to be a lot drier than the bottom half. Next up are these e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths. Uh, this pack comes with 20. Uh, really an affordable, really nice. I thought the smell of these was really, really good. Um, it was kind of like so-so and -so taking makeup off my face, but I really liked using this for cleaning off swatches off my hand or cleaning up my desk. Um, I have like one of those like white cliche like Ikea desks and it gets really dirty with makeup and stuff so I like these for cleaning off my desk as well as swatches because they're really really cheap for this pack so pretty good. Next up I have these Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Clean Towelettes uh, Deep Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzymes. This is supposed to be a makeup remover, cleanser, and toner all in one. Uh, it came in a pack of 10. I got this from Marshalls because if you didn't know, Marshalls and TJ Maxx has makeup wipes, like packs of them for really uh, cheap. Um, so I got this for two bucks in a pack of 10. Now the reason I got this is because my mother-in-law uses these and she has really, really, really sensitive skin. And I have pretty sensitive skin as well. Uh, and she really liked these, so I thought that they would work for me. I thought that these were pretty much just like cloths with like hardly any makeup remover on them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a lazy girl and I'm also a mom, so I don't have that much time to do things. So I need a makeup remover wipe to remove my makeup. Fancy that. Uh, I need something that's actually going to do the job because um, I don't always have the time to wash my face after. So I need a makeup remover wipe to fully remove the makeup. And this just did not do it for me. So. Alright, next up I have a bunch of masks. I got these from Walmart because they were like, I think, a, like a buck fifty each or something like that. 
I have, here we go, I have two of each. So I have these, um, I don't know exactly what brand they are. The, these two are from Tencel, New Age Fiber, or So AE. I guess, I don't know, both of the things have both of those things on them, so. This is for luminous hydration and this is for calming hydration. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I think I mentioned this in every single video ever. I have really dry skin. Um, I live in Texas, it's very hot, and I am also inside of a house with air conditioning the majority of the day. Also, I was just recently pregnant and being pregnant like sucked up all of the moisture from my skin. So I was kind of doing anything I possibly could to re-inject hydration and moisture into my skin. Uh, so all three of these masks, this is, uh, like I said, luminous hydration with green tea. This is a moisturizing cream mask. And then this is the deep sea water calming hydration. All three of these were awesome. Um, these two were actually they were all sheet masks um i remember that these two were more of like a gel mask like a gel sheet mask um so it was very cooling it was very uh calming on my skin none of these made my skin have any sort of reaction or anything like that or like itchy irritation which is really nice um and i remember these had so much product on them it was insane like there was so much of this like cream moisturizer on the actual mask that I remember it was super duper thick and it actually kind of like slip and slid all over my face. So keep that in mind if you're going to go and purchase this one that it it's the Maskology Moisturizing Cream Mask. Um, it was just incredibly saturated with this cream moisturizer and it was almost a little too much. All right, next I have some bath related things. Uh, first is the Soft Soap Luminous Oils Avocado and Iris Body Wash. Um, in my last empties video, I had like the same like luminous oils, whatever, but it was like the different scent. And I definitely preferred that one over this one. I don't remember what it was called, but you can look back. I'll link down below like my previous empties video. And this one is okay, it's just the scent was like a little like, I don't want to say generic, but it really, like, really wasn't anything special. But I mean it was body wash, it cleaned my body, it left my body like relatively soft and smooth, so. And it's soft soap, so it's like really, really inaffordable. Next is something that has made an appearance in some of my empties videos before. It is the uh, bubble bath banana scented, it's like the Minions. Uh, bubble bath. I get this from Walmart for like two bucks and it's like 24 ounces. So this is like a really big giant bottle and it smells just, it smells like, uh, the banana flavored Laffy Taffies. Um, I like bubble baths and I took a lot of baths when I was pregnant. So another, uh, like bubble bath is this, uh, aromatherapy stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint from, Bath and Body Works. I love eucalyptus and spearmint. I think that is just such a calming, just like delicious aromatherapy smell. Um, it's just so nice. And to go along with this, I have the um, the candle that goes with it. It's the same stress relief eucalyptus and Oh, mint candle. So this was like my little like uh, special bath time, relaxing, whatever. So I kept this in the bath and this is just a really nice bathroom candle because it keeps your bathroom smelling just very clean and fresh and oh, eucalyptus and mint is just the ish. If it came like in a perfume, I'd probably wear it. Okay, I have a bunch of concealers to talk about, so I'm gonna kinda rush through these rather quickly. First is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This was in Light Pale. I have gone through, I can't even tell you how many tubes of this kind of concealer. I like, you know, I've used Light, I've used the Brightener, I've used the, there's another one, because the Brightener is like the more pinky toned one, and then there's another one that's more of like a, a yellowy toned one. 
I think that this is a super awesome, reliable concealer. I think that like regardless of whatever foundation you're using or what sort of like under eye situation you're working with, I think that these Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds are fantastic and you're either a lover of this little spongy thing or you're a hater. I personally like it. I think that it's a really easy way to apply your concealer and then blend it out with whatever you choose to blend it out. So definitely will repurchase once I go through some of the concealers that I have in my drawer. Next is this CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer in Classic Ivory. This is not my fave. Um, there's actually more product in here, but I'm getting rid of it because for one, it's a little on the old side. And for two, this is a really drying concealer and it's also incredibly, incredibly fair. Um, now I'm like a more pale girl, but this is even too fa like fair for me. It makes my under eyes look like stark white when, I mean, it's just not the business. But it is a more dry concealer, so if you have oilier skin, I think that this might be a good option for you for the drugstore. Um, it's just, because the coverage of it is pretty decent, it's just too dry for me. Next is this Wet n Wild Coverall Liquid Concealer in Medium. The reason I picked Medium is because the light one looked way too light, kind of like the CoverGirl cover concealer. This oxidizes under my eyes, it just looks really odd, um, and it's also incredibly thick and dry. And it just, like, it looks really, like, clumpy on my skin. Like, it just looks really, like, thick and weird on my skin. This is just not a concealer for me. It's just, I think it just doesn't mesh well with my dry skin or the formula or just something's really, like, off about it that it just did not do, it wasn't the business for me. Last up is this Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer, and I have mine in the shade 07 Custard. This, along with the Maybelline one, is just a super wonderfully reliable concealer. Um, I think that I was able to use this kind of like regardless of if my under eyes were really, really dry or whatever foundation I was using it on. It's kind of like a middle of the road concealer as far as like coverage. It's not like too full coverage where you can't wear it on like lighter makeup days, but it's also, you know, you know what I mean? It's not too much, it's not too little, it's like Goldilocks just right. All right, a couple of brow products to talk about. First is this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Uh, this is really comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It has the spoolie on one end, and it has the product on the other, and it's like a retractable... Oh damn, I still have product in here. <gasps> okay, well this is going back in the drawer then. I thought this was empty. Girl, what are you doing? Um, well, that's a really good product, and you should totally uh, check it out if you like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Uh, this is almost the exact same thing, um, except it's from Maybelline, and this is for sure empty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm such a dingus. Um, the only difference between this and the NYX one is that the, oh, by the way, this is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil in, I believe, brunette. I don't know, it's not written on here. I'm pretty sure it's brunette. Anyway, uh, the difference between this and the um, NYX one or the Anastasia one is that the formula of this pencil is a bit more creamy. So you go through the product quicker because it's not as waxy um, but the color on this is really awesome the blendability is really awesome the pencil is like so precise and beautiful that you can make those little uh, hair like strokes really easy so and I think this is the cheapest out of the three options I think that these Maybelline pencils are about they're less than 10 bucks for sure I'm, I want to say they're like either $6.99 or $7.99 or something like that all right, next up is the uh, Milani, what are you called? Milani, Milani Stay Put Brow Color in Brunette. This is like a brow pomade from Milani. Now the reason I'm getting rid of this is because it is so dried up. Like, can you tell how dry? It is so, so dry and I just could not work with it anymore. Just couldn't, couldn't hang, couldn't deal. 
uh, so I'm getting rid of it. Um, it is a really good brow product. I think I even used it in my um, like brow routine video from like when I first way back like a year ago. Um, and I should probably do an updated brow tutorial. If you want to see that, let me know down below because it's it's like I said, it's been like a year since I've made a brow tutorial, and I definitely do my brows differently than I did back then. So this is a good brow product. It's really affordable. It's drugstore. It's Milani. Um, they have, I think like four shades, which isn't that big of a range, but, um, it's pretty good. I liked it. A couple of face powders to talk about. I had this, uh, e.l.f. Um, under eye setting powder. Now there's still product in here, but the reason I'm getting rid of it is because it is the older version of the under eye setting powder where there's like hella sparkles in here. Um, the new version of this does not have sparkles in it because who wants to put like glittery sparkles underneath their eyes? Like that's so weird. Don't do that. Next is this deluxe sample size of the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I liked it. It wasn't like my holy grail or anything like, like it is for everybody else. I've mentioned this in the video before that I just have really troublesome under eyes. Like I have very dry under eyes that just are very prone to creasing. Um, I think I just have like wrinkly dry under eyes. And there is a combination of concealer and powder out there for me. I just haven't found it yet. Um, and this is not a part of that miracle duo. So I'm glad that I tried it. I'm glad that I didn't buy the full size of it. Because I mean it was like a decent powder but it wasn't like the second coming like everyone says it is. So. Or she's starting to wake up which is good because these are the last three products I need to talk about. Actually, I have one more. Um, okay, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I am like a sucker for travel size mascaras. I love sample size mascaras. Um, sometimes I think that the sample sizes are even better than the bigger sizes. I don't know, does anybody else feel that way? Uh, I don't know, I'm just like obsessed with sample size mascaras. I'm, I'm obsessed with like sample sizes of anything because I'm very like, like, stingy with my money so I don't want to risk buying something that's full size and then not like it so I like to just get the sample size to like really test it out and see if I want to make that like big girl purchase. Anyway uh, this is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. This was an okay mascara. The only thing that I didn't like about it is how freaking gigantic the wand is. Like this is so massive like holy crap such a huge wand so it really you really need to be super careful when you're doing your mascara because you, you have such a high chance to like get it all over the place so the formula was okay it was definitely more volumizing than lengthening um it's just the wand is so huge it's so like that is so uh, the next one I have is the sample size of this Benefit uh, Their Real Tinted Primer. Now I love this. I thought that this uh, totally worked for me and I really want to get the full size. Um, I just haven't yet because I have so many mascaras that I need to go through. I'm like really trying hard to just like go through my stuff and really like whittle it down and then buy makeup when I actually need it. I know blasphemous but... Anyway, this tinted primer I think really, really worked for my brows, or my brows, my eyelashes. Um, I don't like those like white lash primers. I think that they make my lashes look gray. And this is brown, so I think that it made my lashes look really long and full and like semi falsy like uh, just with this alone. And I, some days I would wear just this and not a lash you know, mascara on top of it. And I really appreciated that it did not make my lashes crunchy. Um, you know how some mascaras you can't layer because once it dries, it just makes your lashes really crunchy and hard. And this did not do that. This is a really, really good lash primer. All right, next is this uh, Kat Von D, what are you called even? The Immortal Lash. Um, I hate this mascara. I think I've only used it like a few times, but I hate it, despise it. Because of this wand, 
because it's like it has like this ball situation on the end but it also has like this spirally situation going down it now I understand like the idea that it's going to like make your lashes curlier or longer or whatever but like honestly these little like spiky bristles are so hard that it actually hurts to put this mascara on because it just like stabs your lash line and it just it hurts and I don't know if it's like because of that or because of the formula but it just makes my eyes really itchy and irritated and well I just hard pass on this mascara. The last thing to talk about is this face wash. This is the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash in uh, pink grapefruit. This is like a scrubby face wash. I can't stand this. <laughs> now it's all gone because my husband used it. Um, I, I couldn't. Something about like whether it's Neutrogena because I don't usually use those products on my face or maybe it's the grapefruit aspect of it but this burned the crap out of my face. Like, and I don't know if it's because of like the scrubby, like exfoliating part of it mixed with the grapefruit or whatever, but just some combination of whatever of, of this just burned the hell out of my face. Now I have like relatively sensitive skin and it just, oh, it, like any, it just, I don't know, like maybe like the exfoliant is like too rough and like the acidity of the pink grapefruit or whatever, but this burned, it hurt and... I just could not use it, but my husband likes it, so, but we will not be repurchasing this, no. And that is it for this empties video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you liked me, then please subscribe. I would really love to have you. Uh, if you want to find me elsewhere on the internet, I will, of course, leave that down below along with all of the things that I mentioned in my video, of course, like I always do. And I really hope that you guys liked this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.